This video is a part of a series called Learn How To Do It, where I'm gonna show you my way, how I do it, it's quick and easy, suitable for everyone, boys and girls, or young and old, and hopefully, after watching this video, you'll learn something new, so stay tuned. Today I'm gonna show you how to sharpen your handsaw at home. All you need is a file and a vise. The device is gonna hold your saw firmly as you file the saw teeth. And this file is a normal saw file which you will get in any hardware store if you go and search for it. And if you don't have a vise, you can place your saw at the end of a table or a stool and use a clamp to hold it as you file it down. But for today, I'm gonna use my vise to do the job. But first, I wanna show you a test cut. This is the saw I use daily and it cuts kinda okay, but not as good as it should. And I need a little bit of effort to saw through the wood. A sharp saw should cut through effortlessly. Here, I'm showing you how the test cut looks. It's clean and straight, but not cutting through quite well. So let's go ahead and sharpen it. This is a crosscut saw, and I believe most hand saws people have at home are crosscut saws. These saws have the teeth aligned alternately like I'm showing here and every teeth has a sharp edge on both front and the back. On this side too, every teeth has a sharp edge on both front and the back. And all you have to do is follow the direction of the edge to sharpen it. It's very simple and easy. If you're finding it hard to follow just watch the video and copy what I do. And you can learn and you can do it in within 10 minutes. Now I'm starting to file it down and I'm using push rock towards the direction of the edge and I'm doing only two strokes each on every teeth because that's usually more than enough but for you depending on how blunt or worn out your saw is you might need to file it more than just two times As you go forward, adjust and position the saw on the vise so that it's easier for you to file comfortably. I'm placing my finger on the last teed I filed before adjusting the position so that I don't forget where I left off and continue from there.
I don't have to go till the very end because I don't usually use the end as much while sewing but I highly recommend you for you to go till the end of the saw just to keep the saw tip lined up and in proper height. And as you can see, the edges are looking good. Now we need to do the other way. Right now, we are about to do the front edge. We just finished up doing the back edge of the teeth. Now when you file it down, you have to make sure that both ends of the edge makes the teeth pointy. The sharp point is the most crucial part of the teeth. It determines how well your saw is going to cut. This part is done, now we turn it over and do the same on the other side. Here too you need to file both front and the back edge into a point and it has to be a sharp point.
I'm running my fingers above the teeth just slightly just to feel the points and if it's sharp you will feel it pricking if you don't feel the prick you'll know it's not sharp yet and you have to go it again As I was filing down on this side, the camera was getting in the way, so I had to put my hands over for a better grip on the saw. So I apologize for blocking the view for a little bit, but it's not gonna take very long, so please bear with me. I'm finally done, so let me show you how it should look after sharpening. The points look good. The edges look good. And the teeth setting and alignment is also good. The teeth setting and alignment of the handsaw is very important, but maybe I'll show you how to set and align your saw teeth in another video. Today it will only be about sharpening. Now, let's do a test cut and see how it is. And this time, without any effort, I can push and pull the saw to get a nice clean cut. I don't even have to put much force on the saw. The teeth bite it on the wood just by itself. When you see a cut like this, you know it's going to be a perfect cut. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you sharpen a handsaw. Let me know what you thought about the video. Don't forget to like, share and comment. And subscribe with notification. See you on the next video.